Juliana. Good morning. Yes, 342 requesting Taraban field condition. Yes, 342 Juliana Tower, Taraban field condition. Wind 0701 knots, Taraban field condition. 307 temperature, 30. Instruments are 5 in the green, generators 1 and 2 are on, external power disconnected, avionics 1, 2 on, standby buzz is off, cooling and heating is on, EPS light is out, ECS switches, auto and flaps are 15 selected and indicated, ramps are start checklist complete, we're going to be in good speed 2, Pusher test. Flaps must be set and indicating 15 in order to complete the pusher test. It's pulling forward, pushing forward, so now I press the pusher interrupt and I get the cause. Pusher test complete. Going uh, direct to St. Bart's. That's will be four tax checklists. Bushers complete, avionics are set, autopilot trip test complete, campers controller set, transponder set, altimeter select set, here's one, two, both are up, no flags, fuel coil neutralizer set and reset and cause is appropriate. Alright. Good speed, 2 is ready to taxi, 1 all on board, and uh, 2 hours 30 on the fuel. Okay, so the Angola 6 is there. Angola 6 is there, runway 1, 2, flight to land, 7, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so speed 2, Juliana, taxi, Alpha, runway 1, 0, 0, 7, 0, 1, 1, 3, 0, 0, 5. 3, 0, 0, 5, taxi, Alpha, runway 1, 0, good speed 2. All right, taxi light is on to let everybody know the plane is about to move. And clear left, center, and right. Hey everybody, welcome back aboard our Pilatus PC-12. If you follow along, last time we talked to each other, we flew from San Juan to St. Martin. And uh, that was part one of uh, the series, a full day in the Caribbean. Now, we're flying to St. Bart's. That's just about a 20 minute flight, even less, 15 minute flight to St. Bart's. So this is going to be a full flight video and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't, please just click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the uh, latest videos and uh, posts that I'll be uh, doing. We're taxiing to runway 10. Once we get to the hold shirt, we'll do the uh, um, before takeoff taxi checklist. And uh, then we should be good to go. Weather today is gorgeous, wind is out from the east, but it's not very strong, it's about 10 knots. So we'll see whether we're going to do a runway 28 approach 
or a 1-0. I'd like to throw in a 2A so you guys can see it, because that's one of the main things that uh, I've been asked, is why do we do runway 2A approaches? Um, I'll try to make one today, if the winds are appropriate. Slide is off, let's do tax checklist, flight controls. Good speed to line up wind. Uh, we're just gonna need one more minute to run checklist here, good speed two. You do Roger, we'll start the board right. Holding short equal to ready, good speed two. All right, flight controls for incorrect flight instruments are blur brand three times setting matches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Uh VSIs are zero, altimeters three zero zero five on both sides within seventy five feet. Uh, flight directors go around. Altitude personal leg is 2,500 and set it's armed. Hide bug is set for runway heading. Electric tram is way out. Alright, tram is 3 in the green. Ship was. EGPWS. System OK. And cause, uh, cause is appropriate, crew briefing, uh, flight 15 departure, right turn off at 400 feet, direct to St. Barnes. If anything happens on the runway, we're going to board the takeoff, brakes in reverse will be used as necessary. Once we're airborne, uh, if we don't have runway remaining ahead, we're going to ditch the plane, no questions asked, below 800 feet, above 800 feet. We're going to turn back around, land runway 28. Alright, that sounds like a plan then. Are you guys ready to go? Yes? All right, let's go then. And Chilena, good speed two is ready for departure, one zero. Good speed two, runway one zero, clear for takeoff, zero seven zero one one. Clear for takeoff, runway one zero, good speed two. Taxi light is on, shows recock landings, and here we go. Remember to wave at everybody. All right, heading is zero nine three checks for only one zero. All right, flaps, final line of flaps fifteen. Lights are as required, as protection as required. Condition lever is flight idle and seated and cause is clear. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Romeo 760, good four meters direct. Climb to flight number 150, squawk 0015. Take off power set, and it's in the green, cause clear. Airspeed is alive both sides. Taxi cross checked. Climb number 150. Airy rotate. Positive rates both side, gear is up, helicopter is on, and attack slides are off. Alright, there's 400 feet, speed is above 100, so flap 0, and right turn, direct same parts. Yeah, 342, report ready to come clear. Do the clearance for 342. Yeah, 342 clear the beef by Bravo 520 land direct. Climb to flight level 100, squawk 0057. There's a thousand feet. I'm going to leave the sap open because it's a uh, short flight. Clear to beef. I'll bring the power down to 36 liner. Lap, then direct. Up uh, here. Climb to and maintain flight level 100, squawk 0057. That's one to go 1500 to 2500, set and armed. Okay, 
Give me a 103. Give me a 103, land up and wait. Land up and wait, give me a 103. Eric St. Barge, NAF mode is active. I hope you guys are having a great view out of the left wing of St. Martin. Look at those beaches. They look amazing. Come here, landing, Juliana. Positive Alpha, Lima Lima, join left downwind runway 10, wind 0701 knot south, British 3. Yeah, we're going to have to keep it at 2000 to keep clear of the clouds. Don't go down. Yeah, let's run after take-off checklist. Good speed 2, contact and bad 1 on 1845, good speed 2, good day. Alright, landing gear is on the legs, shot dampener is on, landing tax legs are off, flaps are zero, ice protection, steps open, uh, climb power, saddle ready, pressure station, not applicable any instruments are five in the green. Altimeters will stay on the uh, local altimeter setting. Alright, the checklist cruise power is set. Fuel is efficient and balanced and the instruments are five in the green. Cabin pressure, stable green, cabin temperature appropriate, descent checklist. Cabin pressure rate is set, altimeters are set. Approach checklist, recogs are on, radius and nav aids are set, ID altimeters are set. Pressurization is set, inertial separator is open. And crew press briefing, we'll see once we get the winds in uh, St. Bart's. All right, pressure is complete. St. Bart's info, bone and shoe, good speed too. St. Bart's info, bone and shoe, good speed too. Good morning, sir. Over groupers inbound from Juliana. Bit 2, Roger. Runway news 10, wind 060 degrees 15 knots. Granite from 016. No traffic reporting. Alright, copy all. We'll call the sugar of the next for runway 10. Good speed uh, 2. Alright, guys. Winds are 060 at 15. That means we're not going to be able to do a runway 28 approach. Usually, to do a runway 28 approach, winds should be light. Uh, that way we wouldn't have an excessive tailwind component. So, sorry about that guys, probably next time you'll see a runway 28 approach. Um, let's do a 1-0. So, I'm gonna keep it high and towards uh, offset to the right of the runway, just to keep, uh, keep it smooth going down because the winds are coming from the northeast. Something I like to do is I take the Yishisai and I uh, Put the bearing from the direction the wind is coming from, so 060. Alright, there's Sugar Love right there. I'm gonna slow down. And we have to be fully configured by uh, Sugar Love. As I said, it's a pretty short trip. We're already here. There's 160 knots, flaps 15 selected. Flaps 15 indicated. Speed checks, you're coming down. Lights are on. Big green brakes are good. Speed is 110, flaps 30. And sugar love runway 10, good speed too. Uh, flaps 40 before landing checklist coming up. Landing gear is on three green, foot brakes test and land taxi lights are on. Flaps 40 out of poly and upper way, cabin pressure is zero, pressure differential. We're clear to land. Well, we're not clear to land, they, they never clear you to land here, but runway's clear, we're number one. And before landing checklist complete.
Okay, train is set for landing, and uh, here we go. All the boats are pointing towards zero, eight, zero, probably, so that's where the wind's coming from. Short final ones are a good speed, too. I'm keeping my AOA on Donut. That's kind of like, what do you want to fly this approach at? And we can talk about AOA later. 500. Green flaps 40, I'll play that way before the check is complete and we're, uh, runway's clear. You always get used to that, you're in clear to land. Call out. There's a small truck on the roundabout. He's off now, some people over there. We're good, airspeed's good, and down we go. A little bit of right, rather. And nose to the horizon. Easy peasy. And ground idle selected with a little meta. Oh, that's it. Welcome to St. Bart's. Called as a victory lap. Go around about the beach and wave at everybody. Hey, Shabiria, which radio you on? I'm on this one. Well, you put, us, put you on my radio, it's better. Okay. Hey, what's up? Well, take it easy coming out there, coming out. We're going to put you all the way out, but uh, so we're just moving the path all the way up. We'll see you on the back seat. Okay, we'll do it, thanks. Warning, trim. Yep, that's because my trim is all the way up. Alright, so our ops wants me uh, to taxi slow so I can take a parking spot all the way up the hill. They're actually boarding right now, and uh, because we're going to be on the ground for a couple of hours before we head to our next destination. And, uh, yep, they're not going to give us prime time parking. All right. While they're at it, let's do the after uh, landing checklist. So, let me just say I'm clear. Uh, good speed 2 is clear of the active. Uh, we're going to wait for the caravan uh, to take the parking spot on the west side. Alright, after landing, condition yeah, numbers yeah, final. Now, we'll Laps zero. We'll Stereo likes yeah, as required. Yeah, as protection as required. Radar is on standby. ECS is coming off, and trim, I'll set it for takeoff in a minute here. Back to forward a little bit. Well guys, that is uh, landing in St. Bart's. Um, thank you for tagging along on this part two of the series, and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this trip, and uh, hit the like button and subscribe. That's going to be in, uh, the world to me as the content will get to uh, everybody. Where do they want me to park? Alright, they want to park before. Cool. Taxi light is on. And we're going to park on P4, parking number 4. Apparently the caravan is not going to be ready for a while. Following our marshaller. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for taking along again, and uh, I'll see you on part number three, where we're going to be flying from St. Barge to Anguilla. That's another short flight, so please subscribe so you know 
when the video comes live, and it's probably going to be in the next week or so. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day. See ya. Next lights off. Bring reset those lights off, transponders to park, cooling and heating is off, avionics 2 and 1, the inverters 2 and 1. And Warning, avionic bus. Warning, cargo, door. Alright, cool. Last video, I parked by myself and it wasn't that bad. Today, I parked with a marshaller and he put me all the way to the right of the line, of the center line. So that's not my fault, it's the marshaller's fault. I'm gonna talk to him, see what's going on.